I'm Shalini V. Working as Assistant Professor of Physics. I am going to discuss the topic for BS 5th semester, paper 5.2 for the session 12. The topic of the session 12 is illustration of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle by gamma ray microscope. So before going to consider the gamma ray microscope, we shall know what is the de Broglie matter waves, then what is an Heisenberg uncertainty principle. So what are de Broglie matter waves? So according to de Broglie, any moving particle, it is associated with the wave which is known as a de Broglie wave or a matter wave and the wavelength of that matter wave is given by lambda is equal to h by mv where h is a Planck's constant, m is the mass of the particle, v is its velocity and p is its momentum. Then what is Heisenberg's uncertainty principle? The principle states that it is impossible to specify precisely and simultaneously the values of both members of particular pairs of physical variables that describes the behavior of an atomic system. Suppose if delta p and delta x represent the uncertainties in the momentum and the position of the particles, then according to Heisenberg uncertainty principle, the delta p into delta x is greater than or equal to h cross by 2. And the exact statement of this uncertainty principle is the product of the uncertainties in the simultaneous determination of the position and momentum of a particle is equal to or greater than h cross by 2 or delta p into delta x is greater than or equal to h by 4 pi. Knowing this uncertainty principle, let us illustrate this uncertainty principle in case of a gamma ray microscope. So here, this is an uh, imaginary experiment of uh, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle using gamma ray microscope. So in figure here, so S is a source from the, the, the from a source uh, gamma ray photon incident on an electron at O. So here we have to measure both the uncertainties in position and momentum of the electron at O using a gamma ray microscope. So, when a gamma ray photon incident from the source S incident on the electron which is at O, which is at O, then the Compton scattering occurs. The photon gets scattered along OA or OB, then the electron get it recoils. So, there will be a recoil of the electron and the scattering of the photon occurs. There will be a change if P is the initial momentum of a photon, instant photon, then the momentum along OP and OA for the scatter photon, it will be different. So these two, the electron, that is the photon which gets scattered, is observed, which is captured within a microscope objective. That means it gets scattered through an angle theta, which is a semi-vertical angle here. So then the micro, we know that the resolving power of a microscope, it is given by Delta x is equal to lambda by 2 sin theta. Here in this equation, what does delta x represent? It is the minimum or the least distance between the two points in the field of view, which can be distinguished as a separate by the microscope and is nothing but the uncertainty in determining the position of a particle. But again here in this equation, lambda is the wavelength of the incident photon. And not the incident, but it is a scatter photon. And theta is the semi-vertical angle angle of the cone of rays that enters the objective of the microscope then let us measure the uncertainties in both the position and momentum of an electron which is the way the, uh, the electron here and here it is located at O. first measurement of the uncertainty in position of the electron so here in the previous equation for the resolving power of a microscope, the delta x here they represent the uncertainty in the measurement of the position of the electron. And that uncertainty is given by the resolving power of a microscope which is equal to lambda by 2 sin theta. So again here if the position that is if the uncertainty should be minimum, the lambda must take the minimum value. So since 
if the position of the electron changes by a distance delta x the microscope is not able to detect it so to minimize delta x here the electrons are illuminated by a radiation having a shorter wavelength so since the gamma rays are having a very less wavelength here to have a minimum delta x value the lambda is taken a minimum which is nothing but the here the incident rays are used are a gamma rays so source used is a gamma source then how to measure the uncertainty in the momentum of a particle so when the electron incident photon that is having a particular momentum incident on the rest electron at O, the quantum scattering occurs and the photon gets scattered either along within the oa and ob making an angle theta semi-vertical angle here is theta when we result with the change in momentum along oa and ob so the momentum of the photon get changes here after scattering so then if we resolve the component of the momentum along the x direction on the foreign a photon which scattered along op the component along x direction it is p sin alpha for a photon which gets scattered along oa the uh, that is the component of x component of momentum component along x direction is minus p sin alpha so then knowing this one in order to observe the electron here so it is necessary that at least one of the photon from the source must deflect into the objective of the microscope which is anywhere between oa and ob when a photon having an initial momentum p which is nothing but equal to h by lambda instant on the electron after scattering it enters the field of view of the microscope and it may lie anywhere within an angle of 2 theta then thus its x component uh, as i already told the x component of momentum which is nothing but px it may lie between p sin theta and minus p sin theta then the uncertainty in the x component of the momentum it is given by so uncertainty in the x component of the momentum we have we have represented it as delta px which is equal to p sin theta minus of minus p sin theta which is nothing but equal to 2p sin theta therefore uncertainty in the momentum of of an electron it is equal to two times of p initial momentum it is h by lambda into sin theta so thus from using the previous equation one and this equation two the product of the uncertainty in the momentum and position can be written as equal to delta x into delta px is equal to substitute the value of delta x from equation 1 which is nothing but equal to lambda by 2 sin theta and delta px value by using equation 2 which is nothing but equal to 2 by h by lambda into sin theta if we take the product of the uncertainties in the momentum and the position of the electron then finally what we get is the value is nearly equal to h so thus it is clear that here in this experiment since the h here the product of the uncertainties in the momentum and the position values are nearly equal to h which is greater than h cross by 2 so this experiment verifies the heisenberg's uncertainty principle so all the materials i have collected from the books unified physics volume 4 college physics volume 3 then modern physics by morrigation Thank you.